Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Ion Energy's channel, Advancing Mongolia's uh, first lithium brine explorer for the electrified future. Joining us as always, Chief Executive Officer Ali Haji. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Kyle. Always a pleasure. We got some big news coming out, and obviously it'd be nice to discuss the broader market in this tumultuous time. But first and foremost, Ion Energy receives highly encouraging geophysical results from the Erga Norin Lithium Brine Project you have there after successfully completing an 82 kilometer line, a TEM survey. Can you kind of break that down and exactly what that means for Ion Energy? Of course, uh, you know, the basin, uh, the asset, let's talk about the asset first, it's 29,000 hectares, and that's a significant land package. Uh, the basin, as a result of the contours that are seen on that asset, uh, show a basin of about 17,000 hectares. So significant enough uh, to be a world-class deposit, if you will. Now, we took things a step further when we were there in April. As uh, the market knows, we did do some drilling. We also collected a surface sample up to 918 milligrams per liter, quite significant. And so we did some geophysics using TEM in order to better understand the stratigraphy and what lies beneath the surface. That's shown us now resistivities on every line as low as 0.2. Generally speaking, at 0.5, you, are in, you, know, you have a, a high brine content or, or a brine with a very high mineral content. So for us to see 0.2 across all eight lines, extremely encouraging. Uh, that shows us uh, a, a significant uh, aquifer beneath surface with significant volume and very high mineralization. Uh, so hopefully on the back of uh, that data, um, it is evident to us that we'll prove the hypothesis that in fact this is an aquifer of significant scale. The next steps on this asset will be for us to, to drill some deeper holes uh, down to between 200 and 500 meters, diamond core drilling, HQ. Uh, that will allow us to put in place some uh, monitoring wells. Those will serve uh, a number of different purposes. One, they will provide us with flow rates. They will also give us an average grade. Uh, you, you can multiply that average grade uh, times the, the volume indicated from the TEM to get an early resource indication, which the company expects to put out uh, in Q3, Q4 of this year. Uh, but importantly, also gives us a sense of the metallurgy. And metallurgy is important in any element or any mining project, uh, but extremely important when it comes to lithium brine. So we'll get a sense of the metallurgy, and that will ultimately allow us to better understand Understand who we will partner with to help bring these assets to production. It's great to hear. And as you guys move forward, it sounds like it just keeps getting better uh, and better considering how bad uh, the markets have been and a lot of the concerns here. But you guys are kind of fully funded. What should the investors be focused on here in the second half of the year? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Being fully funded puts us in a position that that rivals, uh, you know, a number of peers in the junior space that are probably struggling at this point to raise equity uh, to advance their projects. Thankfully, ION does not have that problem. Uh, we have enough funding today to keep us going for at least the next 18 months. So in the next couple of quarters, what you can expect from ION Energy is an early resource indication on Urgach Naren, a potential strategic investment of sub 10% uh, across the company at a valuation or a price point higher than the bought deal that was completed at 50 cents last year in March that was led by PI Financial and Stifo GMP. We'll also start to do some geophysics at Babayol. Uh, that'll give us a sense of the stratigraphy there and then ultimately put in those monitoring wells on that asset as well to get a better sense of the resource. So busy year for us and uh, as you've rightly pointed out we are funded so we're looking forward to, to executing upon those promises as we go along here. Yeah, you guys have an incredible runway and I think it's important to iterate with people kind of uh, not paying attention to what's going on here like they used to be that the uh, the demand for uh, battery metals is kind of continuing to expand at a rapid rate. But I'll pass the question off to the viewers at this point. We'd love to know what you guys think about this entire industry in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news continues to come down the wire, of course, we'll update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.